My grandmother raised me with five siblings in the house. My mom had me at 16. I was the oldest of five that eventually got to seven. Even that evolved into my playing days. It was always team first. I probably gave away 30, 40 touchdowns. How important is the Hall of Fame to you? Everybody been asking, we're Fred and Chan. Right. If we told anybody we was plotting to do another show, that would have got out back to him. We knew what he was capable of. And it was a hard decision because I still was stuck between, do I run this? Do I sit back and be unhappy? Were y'all panicking? Did y'all try to take his show when y'all left? He didn't even own the show. He didn't own the show? I get a lot of questions about why black people can't do business. It was a lot of Please hold going on behind the scenes. When I left, I said, man, go kill that shit. But then once I started getting the text messages about my house. 10 years from now, do you see I'm Athlete and Pivot doing anything? It's a real pivot. Sometimes we don't even know we got a guess until the day before. We try to say we it on them with Mike Tyson and Caitlyn Jenner. Do you think they should stand with Kyrie or should they speak out against Kyrie? What do you call when you discriminate against black people? It's called racism. Exactly. And then when you do it against Jews based on their history, let me say this, the best timing in the world is God's timing. What happened with the with the missed meeting? We had just did a show. Everybody in that Please hold while we had just did a show. I believe it was the D Wade show, if I'm not mistaken. I sent I see him and the attorney I would talk about outside in the parking lot. We all been feeling good. We 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 drinking, you know what I'm saying? For those who smoke, smoking. They say, all right, we're gonna meet tomorrow at this time. All right, bet. I go to the crib, they they disperse. And um I didn't set my clock. So honestly, I missed the meeting, right? But that's not a cause to not talk about the business. Did y'all re-up the meeting or? I say, let's meet again. That meeting never happened. To this day, that meeting, well, you missed the meeting. You know, and, 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 and um, the attorney, um, she's like, yeah, for, she was his bulldog. Like I said, she was his bulldog then. I don't know their status now, but she was his bulldog then. Like, yeah, we had a meeting, you could have met. I was like, well, y'all ain't really give her a solid time. Y'all said we gonna meet tomorrow. You know, so and then I got it, I wake up to a table, oh, we supposed to meet this time. Well shit, that ain't happen. That don't mean we can't meet. We still could talk. We in the So age after where that what Zoom, Zoom right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is this is Zoom. Yeah. Like let, we could do it right now, 20, 30 minutes. Are we talking about this, the numbers? Yeah. We talking about transparency more from your end than my end. Like what's the deals that's coming? What's what's the sponsorships that potentially are on the table. What's next? And let's 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 find a, a common ground. So if it is an investment that I gotta do, I'll make that investment. That it never came back to that. Let me ask you this. So Some but of that's my f up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On that part. Right, of it. right. That's my f up. Yeah. But that comes from trust and lack of transparency. So really going back into it, uh and, and giving back, that's the business model that I think anybody that's stepping out here in any type of business, with friends, family, um, co-workers, anybody, button up the paperwork first. And that's what we did with the pivot, me, Ryan, and Chan. Even and we're gonna get in, I'm gonna talk about the And our in-house attorney. Yeah. We button up everything before we cut an episode. Yeah, so y'all business in line. But see, it's, it's easier the second time because you yeah, know yeah. that, oh, man, there's money in there. We saw what B was doing. We saw that there's money coming in. And also, we, uh, we've we built our brands up in this market. Right. So we have some market share. So we know money's coming. Let's, and that first time, it was just like a... It was like a... It was a, an experiment. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let me ask you this. Some of the biggest companies in the world, like Uber and some of the people that's wealthy from those only own 2 3 4%. My question to you is, is this about percentage of money? So say that 4% was worth $200 million. Would you be okay with that? The 4% wasn't worth what it was supposed to be. So it's just, the, the, it just, the, the yeah, it was not worth. When you bust it down, it comes back to one, integrity, and in the relationship that I thought we had. I, I'm a firm believer in relationships. I learned that late in my career. Um, 
And not even, you know how they say, um, it's about the people you know. I, I hear that. that. That's true to an extent. But I, I, me more so, because of who I am and how I operate, I believe the latter, the, the total opposite is about who knows you, right? You know me. Right. Right. So you can go anywhere and say, if you hear of an opportunity, or anything that might be going on, I got a perfect person for you. Whoa, 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 hold on. I go by loan. All of my interviews with everyone that you love. It's available on Patreon.com. It's up there, podcast, ad-free, as well as the show with just me, where I talk directly to the culture. Plenty more perks. I see you there. Let's get back to the show. For sure. Now, if, 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 if I know somebody, I might not be able to get to that opportunity, right? But if you know me, you're going to pitch me. Right. So understanding that, uh, B, B knew what I was about. He knew I, who I was. But for him to say, nah, you're not valued at what me, Fred, initially thought he thought of me when he came to the crib. For him to say that, I'm like, that's 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 a slap in the face. That's that's real fucked up. Yeah. So I involve integrity more than money. Cause I don't make money. I can sustain the yeah. way I live by the money. And I'm that's making. what fucks us up. Like as the young n- coming up in the industry in the game, it's like we know all y'all done made money. Right. So we know it got to It can't be just a money thing. It got to be something behind this that we are trying to figure out. Like what the hell is going on? I heard Channing say um, because, like, like we say, his situation is a little different because of the talent fee. Right. Right. It's been a consistent statement that you've always wanted ownership, and that's where I'm trying to figure out how we got lost in not getting that ironed out somewhere. But I heard Channing say on a podcast that uh, he wants to know what you make, and then he'll tell you basically about how much he's worth, or, or, or based on what you make is how he finds his value. Right. Now. My understanding of business is that there is a way to find your value, but no company's going to do that. Like the NFL ain't going to tell you what the wide receiver makes them. They'll tell you right. what the wide receiver is worth, but how you get to know what the wide receiver is worth is not by going to that company saying, show me the numbers. It's right. saying, oh, y'all paid him that. He got this amount of yards. He had this amount. So basically I'm like, right? So there's a formula. Right. How do you know how to access your value in these kind of situations? Like, what is my true value? I'm, I'm going to go back to, um, you know, that statement Chan made. I think I've seen the same podcast. Right. And he speaks to it. Really what Chan was saying was, we came in this shit together. You know, it should have been a, a certain split, right? Chan know what he brought to the table. Just like even on the pivot. Chan really, in my eyes, and in RC's eyes, Chan is the star of the show. He is, he he always going viral. Chan gonna yeah. go viral, yeah, but that's for sure. naturally for Chan. sure, right? You know, he ain't trying to create no bullshit. Like right. that's just naturally him, right. right? So when you talk about value, and when you look at the old show, I get it. You have one who had a creative thought and said, "I want to put this into play." But when we started, it was a bust down. He did give everybody an opportunity to invest. I said. And that's where it's blurry on his side. See, I tell you what I believe. I believe it's blurry on his side because he did give that opportunity. That's the only thing he can stand on. But then he took that and fucked over it mm. because he saw a bigger picture. When the show started becoming successful, oh, I need to do this to promote my gym so my gym can be successful with the merch, that whole rundown. Because at the beginning, it wasn't that. Right, we didn't know what the podcast was going to do. Right, right. We knew podcasting was a thing, but we didn't know what it was exactly gonna what do. it was going to do. We just right. having conversations in the middle of the pandemic. Exactly. But our conversation was here, like, oh, this shit got traction. Run with it. Right. Now I can use this to market the 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 the, the gym. Right. Because it was about if you on your podcast, if you sell selling merch or whatever, you get X amount of of of. Um, you know, you can put your 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 website and all that in the front of your YouTube page. Right. It wasn't imathletepodcast.com. It was House of Athlete. Where you click the button, you're going to buy merchandise. 
Mm. You weren't going to talk about the podcast. Mm. So if you click pivotpodcast.com. Were y'all you, participating you, in merch? It was 50-50, but the podcast merch, not House of Athlete merch. Mm. So when you find out, like, all right, bro, you're not even trying to maximize the podcast. This look like you're trying to grow your gym. We say, nah, we ain't, we ain't sign up for that. And it when was did y'all make the no, decision? Numerous amounts of time that we said, bro, integrate the podcast into the fucking YouTube, which is where we got you know, the notoriety and the Where and you the can get those clips and merch sales then and stuff like once that. once you go to, once you click into the, the podcast and you send that to a website, that e-commerce, you got an e-commerce, you got a breakdown, you got each guy. If you're paying $1,500, 2500 in talent fee based on a different guy, then to take some of the, the, the weight off your shoulder, when you go into the merch page, I mean into the podcast website, you got Channing, Fred, Brandon, Ocho. You click on Fred. That's his shit. That's merch. my of it is, yeah. Merch from the show, yeah, my quotes, yeah, yeah, my this, yeah, my yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. my history, so my you, rundown. So you brand my, us. My booking. Yeah, yeah. That way it takes exposure. Right. It it, it it takes liability off of the podcast. And granted, it, is and he expenses. was new. He was new. Nah. You don't we, give him that. We talked about this. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. We, so that's a different thing. It. Yeah. That's what greed do. Mm. It's the gym. Mm. I'm going I'm, I'm to set it up where you click the, 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 the website we going back to the gym. We selling you memberships and merchandise for my gym. We ain't participate in that. Right. So when we say when we said that, we was like, nah. Right. So fast forward, we started season three in like August of 2021. How many episodes in before y'all? We did a couple, but when we started, I was like, some some don't sit right with me. Yeah. But I'm gonna run it because now they talking about Hall of Fame exposure. And you so, want your face card just... So I'm taking advantage of the card as I'm dealt, right. which I recommend for anybody in life. Take advantage of the, the hand you dealt. Right. All that other shit, you, sometimes you got to swallow your pride. Yeah, emotions got to, to be thrown away. The Kanye yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. You going to fumble a billion dollar bag and yeah. run out here confused. Right. Like if you got an agenda, be that and stick to it. But when you confused, the shit don't add up. Like, understand it first, then make your move. I always tell the people, don't, 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 don't quit no job if you ain't got no plan. Nah. Like, you know, I heard you say, um, uh, 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 have a plan. Yeah, I don't plan. I ain't telling nobody to plan to quit your job. Or I ain't telling nobody to quit your job without a plan. I'm telling you to plan, plan to, quit to quit your job. And you got to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't just run out there naked. Right. And uh, But that's a whole different conversation, right. too. So really just going back to us, man. So season three, season y'all got y'all did a couple episodes. You said someone sitting right with you. The shit wasn't sitting right because a lot of the people that was there, not there now. We got new production. Uh and I'ma tell you that big room that y'all was in with the screen and the all that shit looked good. And I tried to book that space. That we, shit was we, we 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 um it was a lot of pro bono, you know, mm. uh, return the favor. Spaces and opportunities. See, see, we, we people got, don't know that. Though. You know what I'm saying? So uh, after a while, people are like, nah, we're not. F- that. But B, he's a visualist. You know, he's a visionary, and he has big, big, big dreams. Yeah. But reality don't always match with that. You got to take it slow in business. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You got to calculate your expenses and your costs and um, what your margins are. And uh, I haven't read all those. Entrepreneur books right. like he has. I don't claim to be that, but I do understand a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? The basic one on one of it. Um, but that was his vision, and it didn't align with everybody else. Right. So in season three, I'm sitting back like it was the uh, Styles P episode, as a matter of fact, right here, right around the corner. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm good. Bro. Like, yeah. and then we called a meeting. With me, Chad, Chad, Ocho was back in town, Brandon and, 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 and Chan. And uh, we sat down, and B was really on a lot of the same he was on. 
And uh, after that meeting, me and Chan stepped to the side because we knew Ocho was moving a thousand miles an hour. Yeah. He do a million things. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he wasn't caring about the business. He was getting paid and kept it moving. Right. So me and Chan was like, bro, what's up? He's like, man, I ain't doing that, uh, that radio shit. That nigga think I'm an employee. I said, I feel you. And uh, we sat, we had a meeting. We ended up calling our old producer from I'm Athlete. And, uh, and she was started. already gone. She was gone. Okay. Yeah, she had to be gone because B fucked over her quick. Uh, he fucked over, yeah, he fucked over her real quick. And, um, and we I'm hit her like, yo, this is what we thinking. And we all came to it. Who could be the third and the fourth? Because we wanted to keep the same format. Right. And immediately, I thought of Darius Butler, who's great with ESPN and what he's DB mm -hmm. solid. Uh, down here in Florida, we were trying to figure out the same format right, with right. four people, right. lifestyle, organic conversation. And then uh, we had uh, we did Ryan Clark for the D Wade episode that Chad wasn't there. Mm. Like, oh damn, Ryan's good. Yeah, he's so a beast. Ryan, he's he's so a, he's a beast. Good. Yeah. So it was like, all right, let's get on the phone with Ryan. So Chan and Ryan talked before me and RC even talked. And Ryan was like, yeah, I love it, you know what I'm saying? Run it, you know what I'm saying? I figured it out with my ESPN schedule, but hell yeah. So RC was on board, and then we all had a conversation over breakfast and, and the phone call. RC was, he was gone, so we all had a conversation. Now, are y'all still recording with B why this conversation, or y'all have already left? No, 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 no. Did y'all leave was, without was, knowing y'all was, was going to do the pivot? No, what happened was, um, it was a lot of fuckery going on behind the scenes, he had a um, obligation to I am NASCAR and the NASCAR people, right? He was like, and there's a couple episodes where there's like, oh, we don't need you to fly in. I'm like, okay. And I'm sitting back like, damn, okay. But this, y'all was supposed to pay me for X, Y, Z. Y'all don't need me for this, what's going on? So I was sitting, I was sitting back peeping game. Channing would go. But they, they got me sitting back. I'm like, okay. All right. So, so is that money you miss out on? That money I miss out on. Because now we're talking talent fee, yeah. which was increased for that season, but talent fee that went towards equity. You know what I'm saying? So mm. now I'm missing out on that. Right? That, that wash. Car. Yeah. So, yeah. So <laughs> this is, it's a lot deeper than even what I feel to talk about. Uh, but a lot of people got fucked over. Um, so all that shit happened. So me and Chan started figuring our shit out, but we were zip, we were quiet. And then we just got to a point and say, let's drop our promo. What we gonna name? We talk, what we gonna name the show? We we talked for about two days on the name. I said, man, shit, we about to, we gonna pivot. I came up with the name, let's name it the pivot. We all agreed to it. Went and uh, got the trademark on it. Yeah. Got the uh, LLC together. We got that LLC name, got a trademark. Then we turned around and created another LLC as a blanket between me, Ryan, and Channing. So the pivot is owned our, by that LLC. Right. The pivot pays our entity right. distributions. And then from there, we take Split our own down. individual distribution yeah, yeah. based on our percentage on, of ownership. That's hard. So we got a five man team. We got an in house attorney, we got a producer who has ownership, and then us three. So all of us, we own our own uh, pro rata nut in the company. That's hard. Right? So that's hard. it's a bust down. So that before yeah. we even cut a show. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I suggest we talk information. Yes, sir. That's what everybody else needs to make sure. No matter what, y'all are in love with each other, because marriages, we know what happened with marriages. Sure. Y'all can love each other, them contracts. Marriage is a contract. The biggest you one you can sign. contract up, Divorce is a lawsuit. That's people, deep. People don't know that divorce is a lawsuit. That's deep. When you file for a divorce in the court of law, that shit is, is public. That's deep. Like any other lawsuit. That's you deep. Feel me? So people don't. People don't. People say, "Oh, they getting divorced." Yeah, I broke the contract. Yes, sir. And the contract was That's only deep. implemented. We want to bring religion behind it, right? And I get it, right? 
But how did that get in? How did how did religion even get in place? If right, church and state. How did that it even to another level? Yeah. But they say church and state not supposed to be. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm how saying? did that even mix up? But the government gonna allow it because they allow what they want to allow. Exactly. It. You know what I'm saying? So going back to the contract, when you break that contract, now somebody getting sued. Whoa, 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 hold on. I go by loan. All of my interviews with everyone that you love. It's available on Patreon.com. It's up there, podcast, ad-free, as well as the show with just me, where I talk directly to the culture. Plenty more perks. I see you there. Let's get back to the show. That's what the voice is, a lawsuit. Right. So, in our shit, I would, I, I would suggest that anybody have their papers together, because it might come to that. Yeah. But if your paperwork good, the court is going to decide. Let, let me ask you this. No matter the case. When y'all left... I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all were upset. Did y'all try to take his show when y'all left? We didn't try to take his show. He didn't even own the show. He didn't own the show? Bruh. <laughs> this shit crazy, man. He still don't own the whole show to this day. He don't own the show. I got to ask him about that. Ask him about it. He going to talk about, oh, they taking the show down. They trying to do this and try to do that. We talk about paperwork. Did y'all take any shows down? I ain't take shit. Yeah. I ain't take shit. I ain't filed nothing. I don't own nothing over there. We had a settlement where I got paid and I got missing. And I turned my back on it. I was like, because originally, I wanted the show to do well. You my brother. No matter how much, you know what I'm saying, actually, you can only fuck over me to a, a certain point. Like, I, I give you a pass. But when I realize you fucking around, like, that shit dead. We gonna burn all them bridges. Right. So I get a lot of questions about, you know, why black people can't do business. Here's a prime example why black people can't do business. Uh, some shit just ain't meant to happen. I was supporting everything. Like, when I left, I said, man, go, go kill that shit. But then once I started getting the text messages about my house, about this, uh, calling me this type of fuck nigga and that type of fuck nigga, I was like, man, burn. Hold that shit, burn. I don't give yeah. a fuck what happened yeah. over yeah. there. And sometimes the fans call out the energy. The fans be like, they, these niggas in competition, bro. It I'm telling y'all, you know come out swinging we, we, with them. We, 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 we feel like we in our own lane. We get it. Like, they going to call that out. Yeah. But- as much as the shows look similar, they different. Yeah. We're not about drama. Yeah. But he, he said, but Shady say, said, Shady said that he saw somebody at the Pittsburgh game and that somebody tweeted some that. wild shit. Or, it it, it, I'm, I, I'll get to that. I'm going to get to that. Okay. We're not in competition with them. Actually, we are, actually. Because I'm life. saying keep it gangster. That, that, that's it's, life. Yeah, and, like, and, and y'all like niggas, NFL the niggas. We talked about competition. Yeah. Kids, they don't know it's defined as competition. Right. When they competing for the, the space with their parents. Exactly. But it's competition. Exactly. So naturally, because we're in the same space, fuck it. We in competition. Yes. Like, indirectly. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like, that I'm ain't saying. No beef. Exactly. Ain't beef no and beef. competition is and different. It shouldn't even be no fucking media beef. Yeah, ain't we no media talking, beef we, with like, millionaires. We depend on the, the guests to drive the content right. and the conversation. So how can I have beef with you when we're both dependent upon the same product? Right, right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So Some, oftentimes the, had the same guests. And what of course. You know, but the, the, like you say, the message is different. Yeah. Like, we don't look for drama. Right. B say, I got media training. They look for drama. They know how to find excerpts to go and use it as promo to get drama. We don't look for that. The worst shit that has come from the pivot has been Channing's comment on Russell Wilson. Are, are those shots at B? Because B's close to Russell, ain't he? Them it almost shot. it them almost one, feel them, like there's this. One shot. Okay, so no shot. Channing really it feels never, like I ain't never no shots at B. Okay, I ain't never no shots. Okay, at okay. B. If we gonna take shots at B. I'm gonna take a shot at B right now. Right. I ain't no shot. I'm trying to smooth it out. Right. I'm 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 gonna keep it gangster and, and be transparent. Right. But I ain't no shots. I ain't no I ain't no calculated shots. Right. Okay. This is just conversation. Okay. Russ want no shot at B. We didn't even know that shit was gonna happen. 
we said let's talk about the the off season free agent acquisitions that happened, mm. and Russ came up, and Channing, who's from Georgia, Atlanta, who's talk about future, and the Russ thing came up. Okay, I can and that see how that is. I can happened. see how that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And me and Russ have some relationships through our um, our sports psychiatrist. Mm. Trevor Mowat, who passed away some months ago. Mm. Trevor was amazing. That's how I became to um, know Russ through Trevor. I always thought Russ was a stand-up person. You can see what he's about. Right. Channing said he's a great family man. He's a great father. He's a great player. But his demeanor is that of a lame or, or, or corny. Yeah. And people can look at it. Yeah. Like people see Russ and Sierra's union. Yeah. And they want to protect that. Right. Especially because we don't see that often in the black community. Right, I right, get right, it. right, right. I get it. Just real love. Channing, Channing wasn't shooting at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Channing sees the fatherhood. He sees the, the husband. He sees the friend. And he said that. He, 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 he said that. People don't want that. Even when yeah. we. When that shit dropped, right. they heard me and Ryan on the back end and say, man, Sierra don't want no toxic shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She did with that. Right. She did that, you know, in her life. Women want to evolve. Yes. They, they want to grow. They don't want that bullshit. So they dismiss what me and Ryan said. Pulled and, his. But that's media. Yeah. That's that's, that's what we are. That's the algorithm right? play. That's the algorithm yeah. play. Yeah. And it ain't just the the the, the blogs or the or the sites or the or the companies, the platforms. It's the actual algorithm yeah. of on the back end. Right. That's Instagram that, wants that. You're interested in this. It's, yeah, yeah. They're keeping that's how that it break down. Yeah. But the, the, the lower masses. The average mind don't people understand People don't, that. don't yeah. understand that that's the business model. Yes. Right on the back end. Yes. So he did say Outrage. that. Outrage. But it wasn't a shot at B. Yeah. It was just a, a conversation through conversation, uh, a, a line that got out, and people said, all right, we're going to run. Well, what about the Shady McCoy thing with the, the bus thing? He said somebody, uh, I think it was it RC? Might have been RC, got on the bus and said, hey, when you're right, family, so, you don't so, got to. So, but RC played for Pittsburgh. Right. Right. So all so those shots we, is what we, I'm we, saying. We bumped heads in Pittsburgh, right? We didn't know they was going to be there. They was doing a camp tour that we had already started doing. They wasn't doing a camp tour. We was doing a, a camp tour. What we call, we talked about media credentials. Right, yes. On the field right. access. Yes. This a certain type of access. Yes. Excuse me. Because in this space, it's about access. Yes. To guests, to teams, yes. to 100%. all the different stuff. It's about access. So Ryan's in relationships. Ryan's relationship with Pittsburgh came from him being a former player with Coach Tomlin. We had just done coach on the show, right? That's access. We had full reign and an invite to come during training camp. Our training camp show on the road, The Pivot, every team we talked to, we was invited. Mm. We had credentials yes. to be there. What Ryan said was, when you're family, which he is, or the Steelers organization, when you're family, you don't have to ride the bus. See, I got to get RC they, on here, ask, because how is that have, not a they, shot? They, but I mean, look, tell me it this. Was, it, was, it was, listen. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was, it was true. Because he and me true. and you know. It's it almost like Jay-Z talking it was in the true. rhymes it was to transparent. Drink. It was a subtle shot. Exactly. It's it like Jay shot. in them rhymes but, where he'll say but, certain but, shit. But, but I ain't even saying that's a beef thing, but nah, it's it like, it's, it's recognizing competition. It's recognizing competition. It's the truth. It's the truth. And it was a subtle shot. Yes. Because they wasn't, they wasn't invited. They got access mm. based on them going. If you look at the training camp shows. So that's what that was. Their training okay. camp shows were snippets. Our training camp shows were sit downs. Their training camp shows was who's your top five? Because that if YouTube has YouTube shorts, right? Where you take your promos and you put it. And that, that get X amount of views. You're getting into the game. You're getting into the game, but it's not always monetizing. You're trying to build your brand. Right. So there's a difference. Depends on how you want to look well, at it. Well, I'm saying it. you're breaking down the information of this YouTube right, right, thing. You're right. breaking it down so it, right it, now. It's shorts, yeah. right? In different clips. So that's what they focused on. We was focused on doing what we do. 
And that's having whole Damn shows. Damn, like a podcast, yeah. uh, the For whole sure. show. We, we, yeah. kept, we maintain our show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you take... Now, tell, tell the promos. casual fan, before you move on, is there a difference in access to be able to do those two things? A thousand percent. Because we can access to their media rooms. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're doing it the right way. We're contacting their PR department, saying, hey, we're looking to sit down with... X, Y, Z, this player, that player, that player. What's his availability? And when you approach it that way, it's a, it's a respect factor that's gained and that comes back. And then when you kill it with their players, you don't dirty the team up. Yes. You don't dirty the player. It's wholesome. Yes. It's lifestyle. Teams have been buttoned up for decades. Yes. They want to get into showing the lifestyle side of their players the, the, the vulnerability. It's important to show the that. transparency. Because of, of y'all. Because people don't get that access. Yes, I'm saying. We talk to journalists all the time. They say, man, we're jealous. Not in a bad way, but in a way that they know the access we get, they don't get. That's what I'm saying. Y'all changed. They down it. with LeBron or Gonna be different. Uh, Stephen Diggs or, yeah. uh, or Von Miller, and they can ask questions. The player immediately got a block up. Exactly. Because they know the history of it. But if they sit down with us who've been in those seats and been in those locker rooms, they're going to say, damn, comfortable. See, y'all y'all were the same. That's what made I Am Athlete so important. Or, or y'all together, y'all chemistry and all of that so important is because y'all were the second wave. Right. The first wave of that was your people like Shaq and Charles Barkley right, and those right. people who had these prestigious media uh, positions, right? But then y'all come with the oh sh niggas that oh he got eleven thousand yards. Right. And he talking to us about coming through the hole and what it was like right. when the Patriots sent the blitz and he you know and it's like that whole thing. And then on top of that, dealing with what it took to get there, dealing with what it took to sustain, dealing with what it took to get through the the hurdles of the the information from the taxes and X Y and Z was right. so so important. Man, y'all changed it. So basically. You saying that they were not invited. RC got on the bus, recognized they're there. Oh, they're on the bus. You don't got to ride the bus when you're family. He got off. That that, that was Ryan, uh, RC's. Uh, uh, Does this translate to anything or is this just friendly media, you know? I don't even want to call it media beef. That shit. Now, I ain't saying you beef. It's just, it's just media it, it comp just, competitiveness. It's, it's, it's because, just, of, because of the history. Right. The dynamic of that. It's, it comes across as that. Yeah. And I still holler at Pac. You know, I, 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 I support Pac for, you know, what he's doing in his movement in the cannabis space. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Shout his, out Burner. His, his, his Pac strand and what he's trying to do. So um, we had our friction, you know what I'm saying? But I go back and say, look, bro, I support you. Yeah. When, when that shit was going on, the shit happened in Vegas back in the day. He was with the Titans. I was Jacksonville. We played each other twice a year. I walk up the pack, not even knowing him in the end zone. Yeah. But well, he's warming up. I say, look, bro, don't crack the bank, bro. You yeah. the bank. Yeah. The niggas around you got to understand that anything happening to you, all that money going to run out the bank. Yeah. Don't let the niggas crack the bank. Yeah. Make sure they understand their position. Yeah. So th that's that was our initial conversation. Right, we right. First it's met. real. Yeah. And that, that he always, big bro, I love you. Yeah. From that day forward, right? Yeah. And then the the, 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 the the podcast shit happened. Well, he went over there. He saw an opportunity for him. I can't knock that. And he and he but was Peck, for, you know, Pat. He a good. He, he, he might he go solid. though. He kind of he he might go. He might adopt that shit a little bit different than than because he come from where I come from. That's true. So with that, knowing that, you know what I'm saying, and even my background, I'm like, bro, it don't make no sense really to have no tension. Right. So I fell back. Right. right? Whatever came from over there, came from over there, ain't, ain't no response. Yeah. And the same thing from my side. But to see him doing his thing, right, I say, bruh, I hate him. Like, bruh, keep going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Just, yeah. just keep going. But whatever shots happen, you know what I'm saying? Even like in music, shots happen. Jay Nas, this nigga, that nigga. It can help them run up their numbers. Not saying we doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But... I want, I, I sincerely want uh, Pat to do his thing. I talked to Shady. Like, damn, bro. Like, look, bro. Like, he said you wasn't really nice on the field, I think. Nah, he ain't say that. I think he said so on he Joe Budden. He said, he, he ain't say that. He, he yeah, said, he can't say that. Hold on, hold on. He said, Fred was one of them niggas that was, 
he wasn't was it you or somebody else? Nah, he didn't say me. Fred or who else? Nah, Channing, nah, nah. maybe? He he ain't say me. Cause you was a dog. Yeah, he ain't say I'm me. I'm talking about you was a dog. We we nah he ain't So if he said it, I'm gonna put it in this interview. Yeah, yeah, no. But I don't think I don't think like, he, whatever it couldn't is, have been you. I'm gonna say nah, he didn't nah, say nah, cause nah, you nah. was a monster. Yeah, nah, nah. That's why I feel like he ain't say me because yeah. like when I look at this shit, you know what I'm saying, like Shady was a Shady was nice. He was nice too. You know what I'm saying? Crazy work was nice. You, you, yeah, you 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 when you bust it down and uh, look at errors. Yeah, and, and, and numbers and defenses, who I came up against and who he came up against, and it's not taking nothing away from. I played against Ray Lewis twice a year for Ooh. five years. I played against the Steelers defense twice a year for five years. You when they was in their prime. In their prime, yeah. I played against. The Titans, when they was went to the Super Bowl for them years, twice a year in that division. Yeah. The old AFC Central before the realignment in 2005. So a nigga can't never talk about my credibility right. on the field. So that's why I know he ain't right, say right. that. But I so love that. that. I love, that's, that's, I love the, that feeling from you. you know I feel saying? your energy. No, that's the you past, wouldn't even listen. You wouldn't even accept it. Nah. I love that nah. energy. Look, but so niggas, that I, <laughs> niggas that I played against ain't always. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you run and holler at Ray. You run and holler at Now, you was Reed. a beast. I ain't talk no to doubt. Talk to Derrick Brooks. Talk to Warren Sapp. Yeah. Talk to them boys and say, look, you got Shady right here, which was a dog. You got Freddie right here. I'm going to take that bit 90 in a second. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole different, and it's just competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even on the yeah, back end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I love, though. That, that, I that, love that, that spirit from that, y'all. That's the nature of the beast. What, a, what about B? What do you say, B field? It's always like some... Like you can cut the tension. It's right, almost right, right, like right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, nah, B was nice. Yeah, I'll never take that away from him. He was he was nice out there, uh, big body. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, coming from UCF here in Florida, hell, even to come out of Pittsburgh to come down to Florida to go to UCF and parlay that into an NFL contract and put up the numbers he put up. That's solid. You know, I can't never take that away from him, what he did on the field. Yeah. Like any guy. Right. What you what, real, what, real, what, real what, what you did on the field is what you did on the field. That's real nigga shit. You know, you got to be able to separate uh, the, the player from the person. Right. When it all comes down to it. Um, and what you did on the field, that's your competitive nature, instinct, your drive, the passion. Uh, but you had to have integrity to be out there. Right. Um, and that's the same thing you got to have in life. No matter the business, no matter the space, uh, you got to be competitive because you're always going to have, just like in the league, um, you're going to always have a younger person coming in that space to try to knock you off. Right. Indirectly, but some people actually aim at you, but they come in for your shit. Right. So uh, Anytime same, you hold same, position. Same thing yeah. with this, right? Yeah. So um, you just got to stand up. Do what you got to do to make it happen. Whoa, 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 hold on. I go by loan. All of my interviews with everyone that you love. It's available on Patreon.com. It's up there, podcast, ad-free, as well as the show with just me, where I talk directly to the culture. Plenty more perks. I see you there. Let's get back to the show. Uh, but, you know, Channing, RC, the people on the back end, myself, we ain't about no drama, bro. Yeah. Like, RC said what he said, it was the truth. Like, you know, you get in, you have moments. If they went and they grabbed that, that was a moment. Right. Um, plenty of times over, they shot back. Yeah. Uh, and we sat down and just took that and let it run. Yeah. Um, we understand it. We laugh at the shit when we say uh, we in the same lane. We not in the same lane. We do the same shit, but we're not in the same lane. Uh, the way we've been moving, like at this point, we get so many calls, people to try to come on the show. So with, with, with our relationships and the people we already got lined up and what we're trying to do, we hate to tell somebody, look, it's going to be this long before we can get your right. client on um, the show. Yeah, We want to have everybody on the yeah. show because we want the conversation. Right. Because people trust that... Um, our shit gonna be clean. It ain't gonna be no drama. It's about education, information, transparency, and really just shining a light on a different side 
or the subject, whoever that guest might be. And um, I tell you, when y'all first left, and that's why I wanted to ask, uh, because oh, let, and let's go back right there for a second before we talk about concussions, then we'll wrap up. Um, when y'all left, that well, the reason I asked where y'all trying to tank the show is because not only did y'all leave, but y'all pop out with like Tony O'Brown when he was on fire. This, that, right. y'all start like. Then we just a relationship. Crazy. We ain't, we ain't try to tank. Uh, we ain't try to tank the old show, bro. I swear to God, we yeah. Ain't, we ain't try to tank the show, like. Y'all we just had, was hustling, we, we building to, y'all. We had to sit back because one, you know, in, in any war, right, in any competitive environment, uh, if you fail to do the research on your opponent, you're going to lose. It's every time. Because we knew who we was dealing with. You know, we knew what he was capable of. If we told anybody we was plotting to do another show, that would have got out back to him, and he would have tried to get in front of it. And our reintroduction would have been have stepped, stepped had on. that same dynamic effect that it had. So we was on the back end, behind the scenes, talking about uh, we're going to do X, Y, Z. And then it was our producer who said, all right, let's do a little promo. Fred, what you love? I'm going to be on the golf course. Channing. Channing loves the fish. All right. Everybody been asking. You can kind of see what the people want. We're Fred and Chan. Right. We're Fred and Chan. Right. The whole fucking time. After the show started fizzling, we're Fred and Chan. Like, they kept the show. Way were, were y'all panicking? Nah. Hell so man. y'all were confident? We weren't, we weren't even thinking about that. I would imagine we that he was panicking. His two co-hosts just left. Yeah. You know, and now I'm sitting here like. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's, I, that's, I know he exactly, was. Yeah. That's exactly what happened, but. We ain't try to. Um, uh, but y'all were confident. We, we weren't even thinking about leaving him out to dry. We were thinking on business now, right? Because he made getting his y'all move. shit together. Yeah, he made his move. So, and it was a hard decision because I still was stuck between: Do I run this? Because I don't know what a new show would do. Exactly. Do I run this? Risk of ground? it do nothing. Do I sit back and be unhappy mm. just so I can get um, a little exposure? About my Hall of Fame shit. Mm. I'm gonna still be me and get a, you know what I'm saying, give back uh, uh, my experience and wisdom or whatever you call it back to the people. Right. And be truthful through conversation. I'm gonna do that. Right. But do I run that risk? Right. You know what I'm saying? If jumping ship doesn't have the same effect. Right. So we but y'all got to, that Alicia girl and she, we, we she came gonna, to a point. Alicia don't want like 12, 13. That's what I'm saying. Like she, she's, she's killing she's, it over there with y'all. She, she's solid. You know what I'm saying? But we all as a collective right. make this thing. And that's a hundred percent important know to know. So it was a little bit more confidence knowing the relationships she had was intact. It's so deep, bro. From <laughs> the shit, crazy man. Because <laughs> I kept telling Buddy, like, bro, don't fuck this up. Yeah, old girl, a gold mine. Yeah, like, don't fuck that relationship yeah. up. But he got bigger than that, and started doing some undercut, like some some conniving, some bullshit. And I'm like, bro, don't do that. Like, and he asked him out. Mm. Like, you can't do that. Now they in a situation that's ongoing, but that's that. Um, but yeah, me and Chan just jumped shit. We ran with it. Didn't know. Mm -hmm. But the reintroduction was was amazing from the people that had been waiting on us. Yeah, and y'all you know come out saying? swinging. But I'm even with the AB, when like AB was solid, like it was a good conversation at that time that needed to be had. But if the history of it tells you anything, before AB even be before Antonio Brown became AB. Like he fucked with me. Right. Because of he coming up as a young buck. Out he wasn't way. even known in Pittsburgh. Right. We training together. He looking up to me, OG. Yeah. How to maneuver. Right. I lined it up. This how you do it. This how you train. He looking over at me like, damn, this dude in year eleven. Killing man, it. Yeah. This how you train. This how you operate. Yeah. So he's seen that. Right. Then he evolved into A B. So the love was I'm gonna go fuck with y'all on right. face because he's straight. He I'm texting everybody. He's texting everybody, but he this, hitting this everybody. Is pro bono, same yeah. thing with Floyd. It's love, and everybody else. Shot, like everybody else was love based on the love that was being reciprocated, right. and that's how we was able to run it and spin everything. So our business really has been, man. 
It's, re- it's a real pivot. Sometimes we don't even know we got a guest until the day before. We book up flights, we run it, we do it. Handle it. B tried to say we shitted on him with uh, Mike Tyson and Caitlyn Jenner. Huh. But B shitted on some people that he was in partnership with at IAA that got relationships with them people. We ain't have to make no phone calls. I so how, God, how is he oh, saying my grandma, that? bruh. Yeah. With everything I love, everything. My grandma dying with dementia right now to this day. And that shit is sad. Yeah. To see her in that position. Yeah. On all of that. We ain't never shot at beating them. We ain't never undercut them with no gas, no none of that. It's relationships that he killed, and people want to see us win because he fucked over them. That's life. Mm. So they put us in that position. Mm. The Caitlyn Jenner show, we were asked if we wanted to do that at 10 o'clock at night. We did it 10 o'clock the next day because we was in L.A. doing something for the Rams. It ain't about messy, about drama, about this. About so he that. was supposed to have Caitlyn, and then y'all that got him. Is that what they're Bowl saying? Time after they won the Super Bowl and all of that, I don't even know. They shot out the Caitlyn people. Mm, okay, Caitlin okay, people okay, okay. Said, because they heard whispers of them saying they had booked her for the show. They was like, "Nah, we don't fuck with liars. We don't fuck with that. Mm. So we gonna come fuck with y'all because we don't fuck with that." Okay. The same thing with Mike. And Mike, people, his wife kind of run all his shit. Mike be here and there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mike's smart as fuck, first and foremost. But Mike is is, is definitely calculated. I and, need to um, get Mike on, man. I, I, that's a that would be motion. big. Yeah. Like We had a relationship through some people that we developed a relationship with right. that he burnt the bridges with, that B burnt the bridges with. So they want to see us win. A couple of our guests. So they add looping. Had, they add looping. Exactly, but that's life. That's relationship. Yeah, that's, a, that's I mean, that going happens. back to who knows you, what I was talking about. I don't burn bridges. Nah. I don't, I don't fuck around like yeah. that. You fuck over me, I'm going to calculate. I'm going to sit tight and let you do your thing. If I if I loan you bread, this and that, I'm not going to ask you for it back. You need to you get that saying? to me like get I gave I, it to you. Yeah, yeah. so you want to kill that relationship, that's on your yeah, yeah. you for shit. Right. And that's the cycle. Right. So when them people came to us, like, we got this, this, and this. Why y'all out here? What's up? We had a talk. That's big, like, too. What would our fan base think of us doing Caitlyn Jenner? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, because we tap into another fan base. They got to ride with us. The risk associated with yeah. what comes with that. And I'm not homophobic. Yeah, at all. Like, I don't, like, this conversation, I'm talking yeah. to the people. Right. So that came into play. Mike was supposed to come into play that same weekend, but... We had to wait another two, three months to get Mike because, like I said. Scheduling. Scheduling, but Mike also. He don't be fucking with shit sometimes. Has to be Mike. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because one day he fucked. All for it. I'm cool. Yeah. And then you got to understand the trauma that he's gone through. Yeah, man. Yeah. So some days he's not with it. Yeah. So it still added up. But that was only because of relationship. Right. We never stole no fucking guests. Right. How that sound? Right. How the fuck we gonna steal a guest? We can't hate on you. If people wanna come on your show, they they're gonna come. They gonna come on your show. Yeah, that's I would you know, think they so. gonna show up. Yeah. All that shit don't matter. They did Fat Joe. We just did Fat Joe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People reach out to you. People reach out to us. Right. For whatever reason. Shout they out Fat do Joe for, too. That's what yeah. they do it for. And, and that's love, man. Either way, ain't shitting on nobody. I never do that. That's just part of the business. Right. Let me ask you this, and then we'll wrap up. How important is the Hall of Fame to you? It's important. Like, I never knew. Um, when I played, I didn't think about playing to get in the Hall of Fame. Right. I thought about winning. Like, that was just uh, the selflessness uh, in my demeanor and how I came up. My grandmother raised me with five siblings in the house. My mom had me at 16. I was the oldest of a five that eventually got a seven. My grandmother raised us in a two bedroom. So I had to give of myself for everything, right? I had to be big bro all the way. Um, and I made sure how I moved was calculated. So I had to make sure they didn't do a lot of stupid shit I was doing. I had to leverage them from doing that. So even that evolved into my playing days. It was always team first. They said, I. Right, we gonna bring somebody in to run short yardage and run goal line. I probably gave away 30, 40 touchdowns by coming out. Just of the that game kind of shit, yeah. From the one or two yards. Right, line. right, right. Which in you could have handled. Yeah, I, I yeah. retired with 66 touchdowns on the ground. Right. 74 total. 
uh, combined uh, receiving and, and running, those uh, 66 on the ground probably could have been 96. Easy. It probably could have been 85. Like, yeah. it could have been a lot yeah, yeah. if I was selfish. Right. You know, and to be a Hall of Famer, granted, some people first ballot, it come with fame. This is exactly what it is, the Hall of Fame. Right. You know, we talk the Pro Bowl, different markets. Some people do half of or a quarter or three quarters of what you've done, but if they're in a bigger market, see that's it, where it, it gets it, 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 it's fuzzy. bigger. Yeah, but that's just the nature of the game. That's business. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Going back to my rookie year, I rushed a lot of guys, but because they already was established and had a name, they was in better market. They got the nod of the Pro Bowl. Yeah, you Even got Ra one Pro Bowl, I think. I got one. Yeah, when Randy, uh, shout out to my '98 brother, man, the best class in the history of the game, I think. Peyton Manning, Charles Wilson, Randy Moss, you know, myself, and the first, just a few first rounders. Um, going back to our rookie year, Randy got rookie of the year, and Peyton was like third. I was second runner up. Runner up. Um, I still feel like I should have won it, mm -hmm. right? I know now that don't even matter. Yeah. But when you look at the numbers. Criteria <laughs> was met. Right. So you look at the numbers. Uh, Randy and I had about the same amount of touchdowns. I had more yards. And uh, he was in Minnesota. He had two big games, Green Bay and, and the Cowboys, at the perfect timing. Mm. Big media game. Right, Cowboys right, know right, right. Yeah, for know sure. Green Bay. That's the sure. history, the mecca for sure. of football. For sure. He killed both of them. I'm talking about he smoked them. Both of them his rookie year. That ascended him to win the rookie of the year. Who's voting on it? Media. Same thing with Hall of Fame. The selectors are, is, is, is 48 selectors. And it's media. 32 from, the, uh, 32 from local media markets that follow the team, each team. Every team has a, a person. And then it's 16 national selectors because the national media. So it's 48 in total. Mm -hmm. They decide who the Hall of Famers are. Now, it's their job to go back and say, um, all right, Let's debate Fred Taylor. Right. Why we feel that he's not that, or he is. Exactly. Right. So whatever they say, uh, that gets you into the semifinalists. The key is to getting into that finalist room. Then you do a deep dive. I've been semifinalist three times, right? Um, How, what is stopping it from going the next? Other guys that might come out that might be first ballot. Mm, and then okay, previous, okay, okay. Previous finalists that has... A, a history of being a finalist, and they've been close. Okay. You know, so the timing is what it is. Right. Right? I know for the next, at least the next five to six years, I probably should be the number one running back candidate because Frank Gore just retired. Shout out Frank. He hit Frank, me up too. Shout out Frank. Dog. Yeah. Hey, bruh, uh, same thing about training and guys that come up on Right, me, right. Teaching them how to do, you know, things, right. how to be a pro. Frank G, little bruh. He definitely should be first ballot. And then he was a monster. For sure. Fucking and then monster. you got Adrian Peterson, who probably this year finally announced that they're retiring. Now their clock started. You right. got five years post career. Before you can even be eligible. Right? eligible right? So I got about a five year window from running back because my numbers are better than all the running backs that's currently out right now. That's that's eligible. That's eligible. Right. Right now. Right. And my numbers better than uh, uh, I got the 15th best numbers in the history of the NFL, or even the guys that's in there. 15th? For sure. So what is it like? It ain't on me. That's that's what I don't get. It ain't on me. I always tell them people, because they always come now and say, you're next. After Boselli went in back in Jacksonville, shout out Big Bo, who's definitely deserving. His career was cut short. Which was the only argument, but Big Dog was that truth. Right. He's the best lineman in in the game while he played. Right. Uh and he's deserving. Um, but they say you next. Don't worry, you next. I ain't worried. Right. The best timing in the you world. You think it's a lock though. You're gonna go to the house. You, know you I, should I, I, go. I, I, you can't say it whether it's a Let lock. me say this. The best timing in the world is God's timing. Ooh, that's deep. I can't control nothing. That's deep. So whenever that is, if I can say it myself. I want to be in there yesterday. Exactly. But it ain't on me. Right. So the 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 the, the, the gratitude and and the uh, the thankfulness and all of that shit that 
probably I'll be overwhelmed with when it does happen is based on God's timing. I can't control that. You can't control For it. Sure. Us coming together today. That shit was all out of our line. Right. But when it happened, the appreciation for exactly. it. Exactly. That feels better than anything exactly. else. So uh, I think about it. Uh, I know the different thing. It, it's unfortunate. You got to campaign if you're not first ballot. You got to set yourself up. You got to kind of respectfully uh, align yourself in the vision of those people that are the selectors. And it's one thing because you got players that you played against. Excuse me. The Ray Lewis's of the world. Ray, I'll tell you quick. Freddie he was a been in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even Randy, who was on the other side. We was teammates in New England. Randy will tell you, boy, ain't nothing like 2-8. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Warren Sapp, same thing. Right. What I did to Tampa Super Bowl defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Derrick Brooks. Yeah. Same I'll thing. I'll tell you, it was a Aaron dog. Reed, bro. Yeah. All those Raven defenses. The Titan defenses. Troy Palmalu, who's a Hall of Famer in Pittsburgh. These guys that I actually played against. Who have high level of respect for what, what you did, did on, on the, the back field. End, yeah. During those matchups. These are the people you would think would have the power. A, a, a small say in yeah. it, right? The actual Hall of Famers right. that are out there. Right. The guys that did it before me, the Marcus Allens, the, the, what Jim Brown said about me when, when uh, he was more of a clear sounder mind right. year ago, years ago when I came into the league. He said I was his favorite running back. That's that should carry deep. some weight. Yeah. The style of play, how I yes. presented myself, all that different stuff. Yes. So it'll happen when it happens. Right. I believe so. Day. That's the way the game go. I believe so, man. Um, this is my last question. Ten years from now, do you see IAA, I'm Athlete, and Pivot doing anything? You know, I can I can honestly say um I understand this space. You know, uh what Charlemagne, uh Angela Yee, and Envy did for the 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 radio space which they've been podcasting for years yes that's it wasn't all it called is. Podcast, right, right 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 but they've been doing so they, they help shape and form this tone, space yes right and you know angela she's gone off to go do her own thing right but they've been the the the, the example uh, of how what longevity looks like 100%. in the media space um even other people you know um uh, uh, Shaq and Barkley, them the, too. The Ricky Smiley, just yeah, radio. Ricky, oh, you know, yeah, 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 yes, 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 radio yes, yes. And being able to run with it, yes, you know, in longevity. We call it radio, but that's really like it's podcast. Yes, 100%. like we're more long form, right? You know what I'm saying, and not the short form. Although our promos are also short form with TikTok right. and all these other right, stuff. Right. Um, but to be able to withstand and, and sustain for years, um, that it's not easy. Yeah. Like people like this shit ain't overnight. It ain't easy. Right. Um booking guests right. can be a bitch. It can be challenging. It's a lot, bro. We never even wanted it to come to that. Right. We wanted people to understand that me, Ryan, and Channing can drive a show by, by ourselves. Itself. Right. But people are enamored, you know. With getting a conversation the, with the y'all. Guests. Yes. They want to be able to be enlightened by the guests, seeing a different side of the guests. So our thing kind of transformed to that. Right. And every now and then we go back and say, all right, nah, we can we can we carry still can carry it, yeah. With 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 trending topics. Right. You know, with whatever's going on right, in the world, right, we can right, speak to right. that. Uh but to really answer your question, um, with the group, you know, the guys that we're with and the people in the background doing their thing, we can be here in ten years. Right. You know, um, I can't speak to IAA. Again, I said I, I, I supported them in the beginning. I know it's a, a indirect competition, uh, and people say they can rock with both. I, I get that and understand it. Um, ain't no animosity towards anybody that's right. over there. It's good that I understand and I can see the opponent, right, so I know how to move. Right. Um, but, yeah, like whatever they do, they do. It, 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 it. Y'all can't go on tour. There's no business to be had in nah, the future at all. Matter. It's too I, many I, people you know on I, your I, side. It's too I many. Can't, I can't. I can't speak to the future because I don't know. Right. Uh, but where you sit now, it, you don't it, see where that. Where I'm sitting at right here now, here today, in the next month, two, three months, the uh, a year outlook. I'm gonna say no to that. Right. Because I. 
that bridge, I believe, was burned, and, and ain't no coming back. And then back. you got people on your side that, that also feel People on my bad. side that still got some tie-ups with, with what's going on over there. You know, the shit I showed you on my text message that I can expose, but I ain't going to do. That's deep. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's deep. And, and, and yeah, so, nah, that shit ain't going to happen no time. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on. I go by loan. All of my interviews with everyone that you love. It's available on Patreon.com. It's up there podcast ad free, as well as the show with just me, where I talk directly to the culture. Plenty more perks. I see you there. Let's get back to the show. Hey man, I appreciate you. I held you over a little more, man. I appreciate you, bro. Great conversation. Um, and uh, you know, we locked in, man. I got your number. You got my number. For Anything sure. you need. Uh, if if I need some help, I'll reach out to you. But yes, I sir. really appreciate you coming by. Talk to B tomorrow. We're going right. to see some of his uh, right, right. interpretation of yeah, some of these things. Yeah, whatever pushback, man, run it. Yeah. Like, run it. Shit, like, that's 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 my truth. Obviously, um, you know, sometimes we can all get, we can have our different um, uh, 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 perception of, of situations. Right. You know, he might, that, but that's that, that shit happened in life. Right. So he might see it this way. But I can I can guarantee you everything on my dying grandmother, bro. Um, that's that's a thousand percent transparent, black and white. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hold shit back other than some of the texts that, that you showed me that 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 could be yeah. crazy because that's a different light. That's a whole different thing. That's personal for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, be no. I sent him the message. I seen him. I show like what the goon said. Like people seen him walking, bro. Like they won't touch him. Nah, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. But like I'm solid. Like I ain't. I ain't. I don't claim to even be that. I yeah. came from that back in the muck, but I'm 46 years old. I don't yeah. have time for that. And bullshit, it ain't that bro. serious, man. It ain't, ain't that serious. I mean, it's some money at stake, but you know, it and, ain't. It ain't even like we 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 good. Oh, so like, then it ain't good. that serious. Yeah. On, on, on the money side, yeah. like. We we we, I can't speak to his money situation like, but we good. I got shit lined up, yeah. setting up for my boys, yeah. my kids, my daughter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I I can't speak to nobody else's situation, man. Um, yeah, he he gonna talk to what he talked to. Yeah, we'll see, That's man. That. We'll see, and definitely got to do this again. I need the whole gang. You know, I'll pull up on the gang, man, and and, and get all y'all. Cause RC, I even want to ask him how he felt. Even taking that position, you know, I also want to ask him. He called B first, right? I know. He called, I, I he heard. I, I heard him say that, and yeah, I also want to ask him: Is ESPN like how is that? Right? Is is that a threat to ESPN by doing that show right now? Maybe not. I, I but what if it gets this. bigger? I, I don't. I don't really know the like the way deep part of it. Yeah. Really? But when we do first take, and when we go there. There's always a, a open door, open door, return policy where uh, the producers and the big wigs who produce that show and other shows on ESPN have extended an open invite to the pivot anytime. So that would indicate there's no threat. There's availability. Yeah. So they understand. They appreciate what, what he's doing because it's a run, know, it's a workaround. The crazy thing for me is this too, real quick, is is after this Kanye thing about cancellation and speaking to, um, you know, the, the Jewish population and anti-Semitism, uh, anti-Semitics and, and, right. and, and all that stuff. And, and he talked about cancel and being gagged and can't speak to this and Shaq's upon and Barclays upon and you got the networks behind people pulling strings and yeah. shit. Like... To, to, to really be honest, man, I, I think a lot of these guys are just uh, being opinionated. We're evolving, slowly evolving into this. Exactly. The, 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 um, the bigger networks, they see how people gravitate to the independent. Exactly. Which is us. Right. The, the independent the, the, at the, the pivot. The, the transparent. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So the networks see that. Right. So back in the day... You couldn't even say shit on TV. Exactly. You know what I'm now saying? Now they trying to loosen the... They've they been yeah. loosening it up. Yeah. And and granted, the producers, 
they have an agenda to a certain extent. They want to lay you up, but then your words are your words. Exactly. And granted, they do have the 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 power to edit, but majority of these shows are are taped with a, 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 a five six second delay. So they can even cut it if they. They want can to. cut it, but what they cutting is just curse words. Right. Now they gonna throw it out there because guess what else it bring? Clicks, eyeballs. They it bring all of that. Yeah. So why are they gonna stop Shaq from saying what Shaq right, would say right. about the Kyrie situation? Right, right. Or, you know, ex, you know, this person. Do you think they, they should stand about, stand with Kyrie, or should they speak out against Kyrie? It, it, it's, it's. I don't think. Uh, I think whatever. Could they be it, silent if they felt? Over, I, I think they can easily say no comment. Right. Everybody's um, uh, um, granted that to say no comment. Um, I think they felt a need to speak their opinion on the subject uh, because of um, that's just their thought, right? Yeah. My 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 um, opinion on it. I think Kyrie has um, Kyrie has always had an agenda, right? The flat the flat Earth thing. Yeah. That's not what I believe. Me neither. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he believes. So he speak to it. Uh, I don't think, well, I, I don't, I know that Kyrie isn't, um, uh, uh, he doesn't believe in anti-Semitism. He's not anti-Semitic. Yeah. Um, I think he loves all people, you know, at the end of the day. Right. I think when they asked him if he's going to apologize to it, his back was against the wall. He was basically saying, I said what I said. Yeah. So I don't condone any hate of any form of right. fashion. Uh, otherwise, obviously, they wouldn't call me Freddie Flowers. I always try <laughs> yeah, to show yeah, love, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but just trying to be open-minded. Um, you know, Did I, they I hurt him? Something. Did they hurt him speaking out against him? Did they hurt but his... You got to understand who... Blacks, when we talk about ownership... You don't see the blacks owning no media outlets, no team, no right. franchises, none of that, right? Uh, well, it's one black I think own a media outlet. That's my guy who Diddy. Started, uh, well, Diddy has one, but also uh, who owns the Weather Channel now and started from comedy. I think is um, uh, Byron Allen. Mm, right? Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, he, he's successful. Got it from the mud. And right, right. Up. Shout out to him. Um, but when you look at the, the big picture. We're not uh, as effective as we need to be right, in those who's spaces. In control, right. Right. I think that, uh, especially after hearing what Nick Cannon said, the dehumanization of an individual is where the buck should stop. You know, they have all these different demands that Kyrie has to adhere to mm -hmm. before he can become eligible to play again. Right. I think that um, is sort of a, uh, it's, it's dehumanizing him. Yeah. Right. And so you got. These six things you got to do, which I don't necessarily agree with. Yeah. Now, if he came to say, okay, I am remorsefully apologetic uh, because I didn't have all of the uh, uh, details into this documentary. I ain't seen it. Right. So I can't Me speak neither. to it. Yeah. I ain't even see what he tweeted. I didn't either. I haven't even so seen it. So it's hard it. yeah. to speak to that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm looking at the after effects. Exactly. I know a lot of people were hurt. Exactly. But look at the history of black people. Exactly. And our plight. A lot of people were hurt. What do you call when you discriminate against black people? It's called racism. Exactly. And then when you do it against Jews based on their history and what happened with the Holocaust and and and, and the um and the 6 million deaths, you know, of the Holocaust, uh uh then uh anything that's spoken against uh Jewish religion uh or the Jewish community is considered anti-Semitic, right? Anti-Semitism. And because he reposted that, uh, it came across as if he was promoting it. Right. Uh, I can't speak to that. Right, me neither. Right? But it's what slippery. That's very slippery. Is um, I think that he is sincere in his apology. Yeah. You know, uh, of, of late, when they initially asked him, he's like, I don't think I should apologize to that. But then he came out and apologized. Right. Not so he can play. Right, we know he don't give because he don't, about, yeah because he'll take it on in right right yeah, and yeah. He, he's shown that yeah so I, it wasn't because of that it was because he potentially went back and this is just me guessing right. I don't know 
He could have potentially went back. And got some new information. Got some new information, whether it's watched the entire uh, documentary. Or understood the ramifications. And understood yeah. everything that's going on. I don't, he's not a sellout. Yeah, no, you he's not been. And he, and he stood up for the people who have actually been uh, brutally uh, uh, assaulted for years, whether it's physically, verbally, we understand police brutality, which a lot of people think don't exist, but I want to know what's that one term that they use for our race exactly when we are spoke experiencing out yes yes and experience those things yes so the different religions that are protected versus not, not protected. protected what's our true identity exactly what was deleted and erased from and these, i think from what we're seeing books? with kanye and Kyrie and others is us searching for that like it's, what it's, is it's, our it's, what's happening what kanye, is kanye is um he is his attempts are uh Come from a place. He's taking of low percentage shots. Low percentage shots. Yeah, he's taking a he's lot of low percentage shots. And uh, he has. But I understand what he sacrificed a lot. Yeah, I think uh, he, he 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 definitely goes, sacrificed a lot. He sacrificed a lot to try to display a certain message. Yes. Um, part of it I might agree with, and a lot of it the the approach I don't. Yes. Right. Um, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Um. At the moment, for me, um, I, uh, I I hope these guys and their message uh, benefit the people that they're trying to get the message out to. Right. Which is really just our people. They yes. took those shots that our people and hope that our people wake up. Yes, and, 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 and understand something's happening. But not everybody's going to say that. No. Now, as soon as I shoot you down, right, then... Like Nick Cannon said, it was about buck breaking. Right. We're going to line Ky Kyrie up and say, you got to do all these things, much like they did the slaves back in the yes. day. We bring your biggest, your strongest, and break him down. Yes. Now everybody else gets in line. Yes. And people look at it and say, well, that was X amount of hundred of years ago. It what they got exists. to do with technique. That's it still, still the technique. Even and when you talk about law enforcement. Yeah. Indirectly, if we go in and we create a fear factor, Hopefully everybody else get in line, but then you have those that are going to try to escape the plantation. Exactly. And rebel. Exactly. That's just the history. That's part we're of it. To find our people. Exactly. And the I think that's what you're that. seeing. That's what you're seeing with that. And I, I, I definitely want. This is a PSA, Nick. I need you on the show for for sure. Uh, even though Nick went through his thing, man, and you know he get his pushback, and he's still coming to try to really educate and speak to the masses about it. You got to commend that brother, man, because it's not easy. You know, but it's truthful. Um, I don't know enough Me neither. to really dive that deep. Into yeah, it. but that's why this dialogue comes, right? It's like we need to have these minds in the room. Now, here's what I'll say: Nick Cannon speaking on the Kyrie Irving situation lets you know because he had to go educate himself even more as they try to send him through the ringer. Right. But um, him speaking on it for me was so important because he put it in a way where he understands they understand it. Right. See, so a lot of times we'll be having these conversations, making these points, but we have to structure it in a way where it's understood by the masses. Right. And I think that that's what he's trying to present, even with that clip um, that he did. Because in my opinion, they don't want the apology. They want to embarrass him. I ain't seen, like, I ain't see the clip. Yeah. But I seen the the, the, the guidelines of what he was he just speaking about. Here to. Before he was reinstated. Well, I mean the Nick Cannon clip. When okay. I, well, know, I seen but, the Nick Cannon but the clip. Kyrie situation, I feel like they don't want the apology. They want to embarrass him. Right. Why would you? And if it, if that's twenty things I got to do, why right. can't we keep that under wraps? Right. And you bring right. that to me and just say, hey, here's these six things, man. It'll really make us feel better if you know you did this. You put it out. Hey, he better do this. It's like right. And, you and know. that 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 part of it is where the. Buck buck breaking, breaking yes comes into play because I think every community has their share of Jewish leaders, right? People that we respect in the community. Yes. But when they said he has to go and meet with the Jewish leaders, what community are you talking right. about? Right. Is that in Miami? That's what I'm saying. Is that in New York? Of Is your choice. California. Then, like, it, who are the so called Jewish leaders. Now, granted, he has been, he's expressed remorse yes. for not knowing. He has been very 
apologetic. Uh, and he wants to write this, but he also wants to bring attention to when you look at different races who has um, actually who's been, I guess, on the bottom end of this thing, what we call life. Right. It's been those 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 right those right those races, namely the blacks being on the very bottom for of sure. that totem pole. For sure. So he's really these guys are just yelling out for help. Exactly. And and how can we get our confused to, black confused rich black but, men? But that's always been the case. yeah. With there they I've come in the money. I've come in the information. I'm I'm confused and I'm looking to see hey this document hey what the contracts what's hey. Some's not. He trusted that documentary to have sustainable to be legit, resources because it's that on the might planet. have come from books and this and that. But that's what you got to do in this day and age. For sure, you got to go and research and collect the information yourself, yourself before you regurgitate. Especially in that position. Certainly, because it's harmful. Yes. Same thing with Kanye in the White Lives yes. Matter shirt. Why that shirt? When we understand. You why people said black not not the entity black lives matter the chant that was scammy yes but the whole chant yes more than the entity yes because we know that but we understand all lives matter on the on the big scheme of things but don't discount our message and our fight and what we are trying to say because it does and in that moment it didn't seem like black lives mattered and then he turns around and and wear a shirt that Kind of goes the and, other and way. And I told him I wanted. So you know, that that's that's that it was sounds. it was yeah. And I said them. I said I said look, you confusing your family because right. I look at us blacks like family, especially right. when we become millionaires and get out there operating amongst these. See, once you get billions, you no longer Fred versus Loon. It's right. now the such and such family versus. Kanye West, he was going up against families like right. doing business with the right. Adidas shit and Gap shit. These are families that own this. So you got this black dude trying to figure out his space without his family. Right. Lost his family. That empowered him. That's what I'm saying. Because any other billionaire, they want to teach and educate. They don't have time for shit That's what I'm business. And how can they sustain those levels? Trust me, the billionaires that, that I've come across, they, they operate... On Ambien and, 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 and energy. <laughs> yeah, like they got to stay up at from it. Everything that they involved with, and they don't have no time for no bullshit. Right. So, but because you crown this guy with the, the creative genius and all this, yeah, like you gave him that confidence. We have to, as a people, understand who we're putting confidence in, right, and who we're trusting. Because when you look at them and they don't meet the criteria, it's like a letdown. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's what happened when they saw those shirts. Then he come back and say, well, this was the message. I was, And I get that your message, part of Fuck it. your message. The, 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 the jeal I'm yeah. jealous to this. Yeah. I'm jealous fuck to your that. message. You're confusing your family. If you, I'm you looking in my house that. and my kids is you confused, do I'm doing something wrong. Right, right, right. If they asking me, Daddy, why is you really with us? Right, right, if my right. family's saying that, I'm doing something wrong. Right. Fuck your Not message. Fuck, yeah, you confusing your people, on, man. But, yeah, that's a whole like yeah. shit. That's another thing. But that but man, know. listen, I appreciate you, bro. We definitely lock back in, man. Fred Taylor, you know, um, biggest podcast in the world. Let's get it. What's going on? It's your boy Big Loon. Right now, if you looked at this clip and you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Watch the next video. We on the road to 100 k subscribers on YouTube. If you're a fan, come to Patreon. We got exclusive videos there, and also the show with just me alone. Salute to the supporters. Verify your customers and know who's your viewers. It's up there, podcast. Let's get it.